Class here and today I am going to be your reading teacher. We are now entering unit six of our reading unit and it's all about poetry. But before we can begin talking about poetry, we first have to focus on our sensory words and our feeling words. Let's take a look at our learning target. So today we are learning about sensory and feeling words. So this is your I can statement for today. Now, what should you be able to do by the end of this lesson? <clears throat> well, let me tell you. I should be able to find and give examples of sensory and feeling words. Now, you're probably already thinking, Miss Glass, I feel like I know some sensory and feeling words already. Well, let's begin by talking about feeling words and we are going to practice. Come on over here. So here on this section, I have an area for all of our feeling words. Now, this is going to be interactive, so you are going to have to play along with me. You ready? I said, are you ready? There we go. Okay, so the first word I have is excited. Can you make an excited face? Let me see. Okay, well, here's my excited face. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it up on the wall and get to the next one. Okay, our next feeling word is nervous. Let's make a nervous feeling. Was that good, you guys? How was your nervous face? Next, we have confused. Oh. Mm. That's my confused face. What's yours? After confused, let's try to make a scared face. Oh no. Ah! Scared. That's another one of our feeling words. Okay? Oh, and I know you guys can do this one because it's what? Yep, that's right. Happy. Yay! That's my happy face. We have a couple more. Okay. This is another feeling word. It's shy. What does shy look like? Right? What's your shy face look like? <laughs> and we have, oof, we have the beast. Yes, it's angry. But I'm happy right now, so let me get angry. <laughs> Was I good enough? <laughs> it's hard to be angry when you already feel so happy. <laughs> I know you guys can do a better job at that than Miss Glass can. And our last feeling word is sad. <sighs> yeah. Sad. This is my sad face. Super sad that I don't get to see you guys right now. But back to happy mode, these are a lot of our feeling words. So come closer. I want us to read these words together one more time. And as I go through, you can continue making those feeling faces. <clears throat> so the first one we have was excited, nervous, angry, confused, scared, happy, shy, and sad. And you're probably thinking, Miss Glass, I know a whole bunch of other different feelings that you didn't talk about. Well, you are absolutely right. These are not all the feelings that exist. These are just a couple of the feelings that we're talking about for today, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's go back to our learning target. Remember I said that we were going to talk about sensory and feeling words. We just checked off the feeling words. Now we have to talk about sensory words. Come on closer. <clears throat> so, in the poems that you are going to see, you are going to have to find different sensory words. But you're probably wondering, what are sensory words in this class? Well, there are five senses. Five of them. Some of you may already know what our five senses are, but we're going to talk about them right now. There's taste, sight, sound, touch, and smell. Those are your five senses. 
Let's do them one more time. Taste, sight, sound, touch, and smell. These are the five senses, okay? And there's different words that you can use to describe each sense. The first one that we're going to focus on for today is taste. So, before we get into how, to we how we describe something that we taste, I want to show you guys something that I can taste. Mm, I know your mouth is watering. These are sour punch strawberry straws. Mm, and they are so, so good. This is something I can taste. And I also can describe how it tastes, right? So for example, my sour punch strawberry straws Tastes sour, but also sweet, okay? Pause the video right now, and I want you to go find something in your house that you can taste. And then I want you to, just, ugh, excuse me, I want you to describe how it tastes, okay? Pause the video, go find something you can taste. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. Did you go yet? Why are you so looking at me? You should be going to find something you can taste. All right, you should be back by now. So, we are gonna look at sight. That is gonna be the second sense that we're gonna focus on. <clears throat> oh, so Annie, I forgot to go over our taste words. So we have different words to describe how something tastes. For example, sweet, like I said about my sour punch straws. Sour, also my sour punch straws. Bitter, spicy, bland, burnt and tart. These are all different words we can use to describe how something tastes. Next, we're going to talk about sight, something you can see with those big old beautiful eyes. Well, this is what I chose as something that I can see. Here we have a beautiful flower. It's pink with green leaves and a very, very long stem. So by telling you what I see, I'm describing it to you, right? Let's take a look at these different description words. We can say that something we see is big. We can say that it's dirty, wrinkled. It's in a different shape, right? It might be shiny, it might be small, it might be clean, or it might even be worn. So those are all different words you can use to describe something that you see. Now, I'm out of breath, but I want you guys right now to pause the video again, and this time you are going to go find something that you can see and you are going to describe it in your own words. Okay, go now. Are you back? Great. So, the next sense we're going to focus on is sound. Yes. Sound has to do with those ears of yours, right? This is, this is what allows for you to hear. So sound is one of your five senses. Let's take a look at my example for sound. Hey Siri, play Baby Shark. Let's see. Right there but you guys get the point sound can be music right it can be the sounds you hear on the street sounds you hear on the um, television sounds are all around you and these are different words that you can use to describe sound like for example the baby shark song that I was about to play is very fast it's also very loud it's very jumpy those are all different words you can use as well as high low New, loud, silent, and quiet. Now, you guys probably have already gotten to the hang of it. Yep, you're going to pause your video and go find something that makes noise in your house. I want you to describe what that noise sounds like and then come right back. Okay, go. I was pretending to be on pause. <laughs> okay. We have two more left. The next one is touch. Yes, touch, okay? Now, touch is something
something that you can do with many of your body parts, your fingers, your arms, your feet, right? Because we have so many different nerves in our body that allow us to feel. So for today, my example of something that I can touch and something that I can feel is my dish towel right here, okay? Now, when I feel this, I can describe what it feels like to others. So for example, my dish towel, it feels very soft. It feels very smooth. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. I know my dishes are happy about this, right? So other words we can use to describe how something feels are soft. Sometimes things could feel wet, cold, hard, rough, or even smooth like my dish towel. Pause the video. Go find something in your house that you can touch and then describe it. I'll wait. Okay, you should be back by now. And the last thing. Smell. <sighs> Smell. From this nose right here and your nose right there. Smell is something that, or I'm sorry, smell is one of your five senses, okay? And like I said, you can smell through your nose. What I chose as my example for today oh, is this wonderful candle. Now, let me tell you something about this glass. I love smells. I do. Well, not the bad smells, but the good kind, okay? Now, this is one of the good kind of smells. This is a candle, and it, it smells like flowers. It smells amazing. It smells clean. Notice I'm smelling it. I just, I can smell this all day. It's so phenomenal. Such a beautiful scent, right? Here's some other words you can use to describe how something smells. For example, sweet, yummy, chocolatey, or even disgusting. Disgusting is a bad smell, right? So now, this is our last one. I want you to go find something that you can smell in your home. Describe it, what does it smell like? Is it a good smell, is it a bad smell? And then I want you to come back in five seconds, okay? Have you found it? Okay, timer starts now. Ding, ding, ding. Time's up. So, you guys, we just went through all of the five senses together. We had different examples that we used to describe each one of the five senses. And you guys showed me different examples of things you could find around your house that you can taste, that you can see, that you can hear, that you can feel, and things that you also could smell. So, how many senses are there? Don't look. I see you looking. How many senses are there? Did you say five? Excellent job. There are five senses. Wonderful. You guys are on point. Now, what is the sense called that you can touch with? What is it called? What is it called? Oh, well, I kind of gave that one away. And what I meant to say, what is the sense that you can feel with? That's what this class meant to say. But they are interchangeable, okay? Now, let's go over them one more time, and then we're going to wrap up our video because I think you guys should have a pretty good understanding of this. So, we have taste, sight, sound, touch, smell. Got it? Two thumbs up. Hand on your head. Hand on your stomach. Pull your ears. Thumbs up again. Okay, good job. Good job. So going back to our learning target. Today, you learned about sensory and feeling words. Now, this knowledge is super important because next week, you're going to take this same knowledge and you are going to look for these sensory words and feeling words and poems. Remember I said this is our poetry unit? So we're going to take these this knowledge and use it to find these words in poems, okay? That is the big idea for this unit, but this is just one part. So, if you
if you guys have any questions about what we learned today, go ahead and comment below. Let me know how you like the lesson. I hope you found it interactive and fun. <clears throat> and then also, I want you guys to subscribe to this channel. Um, this is called the MDLA Fantastic First Grade. So all of the first grade teachers are coming on here to teach you. Yep, for you. So you can keep up to date with what we're doing in reading, science, social studies, and math. There will be a different teacher to teach you each one of those um, subject areas. So like I said, subscribe, like the video, keep coming back each week for more videos on what we're learning each week. And I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Bye first graders, see you later.